welcome to my channel if you like to create you like to grow you like to know or you just want to come and hang out this is the channel for you go ahead and press that like button the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time i go live or upload a brand new video hey youtube family i'm back for another video in this video i'm going to be making a men's bracelet now some of you may know from prior videos I've discussed how I have not been making the men's bracelets. Now, I used to make men's bracelets consistently several years ago, but for whatever reason, I got out of it and I just started doing more women's bracelets and women's accessories. Well, as you well know, the men have been complaining saying, hey, Kesa, you're not making any jewelry for us. What about us? And again, who knew? And then when I went out and did a vending opportunity um, at the lake, there were men that were coming by looking for men's bracelets. And of course, I was not prepared. So in this video, I am going to be making a men's bracelet using iron gold tone clear rhinestones which are these okay that's what they call them and then i'm going to be using the lava now i haven't decided if i'm going to use the square lava beads or the round but i'm just going to start doing it and then i'm going to add in the silver components right here um, I may add that in, I'm not sure, but I also have a panther that I'm going to be adding on to the bracelet for the finishing touches. So we're just going to get started. And as you guys know, I will form a pattern as I go along. And if I don't like the pattern, then you know what I'll do. I'll take it apart and start it again. Okay, so... I did start by stringing on the silver spacer bead along with that lava bead right there. And then I added that rondelle right there. But what I'm going to actually do is I am going to take that off and I'm going to switch this hardware out for this one only because I like the way that it looks. It's a more masculine look. All right, so here we are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these oil spill beads right here. And these are rondelles as well. And these are hematite, okay, just to let you know. So I'm going to add a little bit of hematite in there. And then I'm going to see how I like it because if it looks, you know, feminine i'm not going to use it and the point of making a bracelet for men you need to make it masculine okay so i'm going to add this on here now actually i'm going to take that off and add the rondelle on there so i like to mix and mingle um the beads together because they give like a, a different look and i always like to do that all right so so far this is what i have so now i'm gonna continue on with the lava bead and so i am gonna use the round ones for now because i want to see how it's gonna look and and as you know, I like to build it out, right? I like to build it out to see what it's going to look like. And there's nothing wrong with you doing that. And then you may find, you know what? I don't want to um, continue on with the pattern that I'm, I'm using because it just doesn't look right in my eyesight. So I'm going to add this on there too because I have a couple of those on there. Okay, there we go and now I'm going to add that rondelle on there again and then we're going to add the rondelle on this side okay now I kind of like this but I really won't know if I really like it until I just complete it 
it's just one of those things that I'm going to have to complete to, to kind of figure out if this is what I want. Okay. So I'm going to also add this on here and I'm going to see if that's something that I want to keep right there. Not particularly so. No, I don't. So I'm going to take that off. But I got all of these beads out so I can have something to work with, you know? And again, you can always change things out. I like the pattern. I like the way things are going. Um, and again, don't be afraid to switch things up, y'all. You know, in the middle of your design, you can switch your pattern up. It's, it's perfectly okay. And I'll show you what I mean by that momentarily. Okay. All right. So, say if I decided I wanted one side to look like this, right? I want, I like this side. Now, I decide, well, I want a little bit more of hematite on it. So, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to create a different pattern on the other side. And it's okay because it will not change anything drastically right but it will make it unique it will make it unique because you're still going to have the same patterns and i'll show you how to blend in the other part again so i'm going to add another one onto here and i'm trying to follow the pattern of the hole sometimes with the lava beads y'all the holes are really weird you have to find them And lava is a calming stone, just to let y'all know. It is, um, in some places, it's made inside of a hot volcanic um, area. And it's amazing. Do the research on lava. I might um, come on here and talk about the lava bead. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. All right. Now, as you can see, I love the way that's shaping up. I love that. I actually love that. Now, what I can do is I can now go back to the other pattern I was doing, which is this one right here. And I can simply add on the rondelle. Go back to that pattern. Now... I don't think I have. Yes, I actually do. If I can find them. Yeah. I have some more of those. So, y'all, if y'all see me digging in my bag, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's a part of being a beater. We're always digging in bags. All right. So, I'm going to go and add that together just like that. Now, as you can see, I kind of skipped on the pattern. And I created another pattern in the midst of the pattern that I'm working on. All right. So now what I can do is go ahead with the lava and continue around and continue that pattern I was having before. Okay. And let me go to this side. And then I'm going to show you how to finish it in just a moment. And see, it doesn't take long at all to create a men's bracelet. It all depends on what pattern you're thinking about. Um, and don't be afraid to um, change up the pattern, okay? I'm just letting you know. Don't be afraid to change it up. It's perfectly okay if you decide to do that. It's going to come out great no matter what. Because it's your design. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid to play around. And how do you know if you have a masterpiece or not unless you show it? And sometimes what I find, guys, which I found to be true always, is that when I don't like something... The buyer does. 
when I think something is hideous, the buyer loves it. I don't know what that is, but they love it. I've made um, several uh, necklaces and bracelets, and I thought, oh, this cannot sell. Let me tell you, that was the first thing that sold on the table. I was looking like, wow. So you just never know. Beauty is definitely in the eyes of the beholder, okay? What you consider unattractive or <laughs> or ugly, somebody will find the beauty in it, okay? I'm just letting you know. So now what I'm going to do, because I'm going to end it with this beautiful panther, by the way. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to stick it through here. Now what I want to make sure is it does have enough elasticity, enough room. It's large enough. Um, I want to always make sure of that. So before I tie it, I'm going to um, just put it together and see if that's the length that I want. I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra lava bead on this side. All right. Now, there we are. All right. I like that. I'm going to tie that. And I am done. I am done with that. And so um, here is the panther bead. Now what you can do is turn it over. You can always turn it over. You don't need to worry. It'll go in either direction. So it doesn't have to go in a specific way. So again, I'm going to tie this. And I, I'll usually do about seven, seven knots. Some people place glue on the um, stretch strand. I don't necessarily do it. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but I do tie it a good amount of times. So that was four. I believe that was four. All right, we're going to do that again. And always, as I am tying it, I'm stretching the cord out to make sure that the knots are tight. Okay. And again, don't do it too harshly because you can you know, pop the elastic. And you know, when you pop the elastic, y'all, that hurts, okay? If you ever pop it against your finger. All right, so I'm done with that. These are my, my bigger clippers, y'all. All right, there we go. So now I just pull it in and I hide the little knot. Now I have created the men's bracelet. I like this. I really do. That's kind of cool. Now maybe next time I will probably um, do the Panthers all through the bracelet. I'm going to do that one next. So maybe I'll record that as well. All right. Until the next video. Thank you for watching.